Hello everyone, welcome again to another of my videos um, by Matthew McKenzie, uh, a mental health carer from Lewisham. Now, it's been a while since I've done one of my videos. Um, I suppose I've been busy doing quite a few other things, to be honest. But since it was being the Easter holidays, I thought, you know, let me release another video. I've done the blog already, so feel free to check out my blog site, which is called caringmindblog.com. But anyway, on the 15th of March 2016, Carers Hub Lambeth held another one of their forums. I think they, they hold around about for a year. But before I continue about what happened at that Carers uh, Forum over in Lambeth, I want to explain a bit more on what Lambeth Hub Carers actually do. Now basically, they're a charity offering services to anyone who provides unpaid care and support either living in Lambeth or caring for someone in Lambeth. Now Carers Hub Lambeth offer a number of services including advice for carers, support groups, they also have an inquiry line and send out newsletters and have an online resource uh, being on Twitter and Facebook but they do a lot more but obviously you can't fit all that in. So if you want to hear a bit more about them check out their site at carershub.org.uk so, okay, what happened at the forum? And why did I attend? Well, I like networking with carers. I think that's important regardless of where you go. Um, this can be the same for health watch groups and events. And basically, uh, the forum was held at a building called um, 336, which is located off... 336 Brixton Road, which offers, um, this is a church, which offers um, office space to Lambeth's community of disability, older people and carers charities. Now as I entered the forum, I was greeted by the friendly Lambeth staff at the reception and the stalls and the forum and the space was, was quite spacious, um, it's laid out very professionally and there was lots of information and posters around, especially uh, I've noticed a few posters called Help for Carers, but I'll get on to that in a moment. As noted before, I feel networking with carers is very important when attending such forums. But it's also important to keep up to date with information provided at such forums, which is again why I tend to try my best to attend them. The forum was well attended. We at least had, I think, up to 60 to 70 carers turn up. Um, there were around about five to six tables centered around relaxation, creativity, and positive awareness. And some tables that I did notice were knitting, painting, poetry, and much more. If I can just quickly note down what tables. Um, what, what's a part of tables you can see from the video uh, the table that I eventually um, attended was the, the poetry table or developing poems and this, this one was led by um, Francesca Beard um, who is basically I would say a wandering poet in some, in, I think that's how she describes herself um, she performs poetry and spoken word all over the UK and you can check out her website at www.francescabeard.com and if I just describe briefly what I did on that poetry table is basically what we did is we all took turns to feedback from what we did that particular morning when we arrived to that forum and then we described what we liked about ourselves which is looking into positive awareness we looked at five things we owned and feeding back to that table explored the positive of what we owned hence uh, I could give an example of I don't really own a car but I do own um, an Oyster card where I do enjoy travelling. 
what we also did on that table, on the poetry table, was participated in listening exercises, which is very important for carers to develop when you're actually listening to your loved one and listening to other carers who are trying to speak about what they're going through. So it's a very important skill to develop. Then we eventually um, fed back our poetry, which we created to the other tables. I felt that the poetry section was very well led and I learned not only about myself but more about others due to the listening exercise we we took part in on that table. We also formed a greater connection to several carers who had different skill sets and resources which are shared within the community of Lambeth. Soon it was time for lunch and we heard from Crossroads staff who are based I think around in Streatham another part of Lambeth, but they're rebranding, so they're changing their name from Crossroads Care to Help for Care, which was explained earlier on about those posters. And there was a chance to hear from carers at the forum where I raised um, if future forums would have guest speakers and updates from Lambeth Council regarding the carer's strategy, that being updates from Lambeth CCG, that would be the commissioners who buy health services um, and how they would engage with carers who sometimes have to ask them difficult questions. Fortunately I couldn't stay long at a forum but what I do hope is that Lambeth Carers Hub continue running such forums, I believe it's only around about perhaps four months, but sorry four a year, but I believe that they're quite big and vast and you do form deep connection to other carers and are also kept informed about what's happening for carers in Lambeth. I look forward to the next Lambeth Carers Forum and thank you for watching my video.